In the show, Brian Elver is here, Wrestling Observer Live. No Mike Sempervivi today, but he'll be back tomorrow. In fact, I've been told, well, I could say no more. Maybe I'll tell you later. So anyway, yes, uh, Heath Slater's promo. Someone on the Twitch chat was like, how is this extremely controversial? Well, most people thought that Heath Slater was awesome. Some people thought, listen, if you're doing a promo and it makes your top baby face look like a total jerk, when he's supposed to be your top baby face, then the promo sucks. Which, listen, that's a that's a totally fair argument. But this is this is my point to all of this when I say that somebody did a great promo. This fella Heath Slater, what's his real name? So I can I can make this even even easier to explain. Now of course nothing works on my on everything right here. I presume his real name isn't Heath Slater, but am I wrong about that? Let's see. Heath Miller. I should have known that. Okay, this fella Heath Miller, he got fired. And as of as of last night, I've not heard anything today, but as of last night, he's still fired. And he will, in fact, be a free agent, as he had on his shirt, uh, in about a week and a half or so. I think like 17th or 18th of July or something like that. So Heath Miller's been fired, and they call him, and they want him to do an angle. So he shows up, looks like he's in really good shape. And the whole point of the promo is that Heath and Drew McIntyre were buddies, teammates, 3MB, the whole nine yards. They knew each other for years. They were very close friends, best friends, etc., etc. And when Drew McIntyre got fired many years ago, his buddy Heath called him every day, called him to see how he was doing, checked in on him. Whenever he was in the area where, where Drew lived, he went over and he visited him and then he says, well, I was so happy when you won the title at Mania. I was there on my couch. I cheered. I cried. I think it was the first time my children ever saw me cry. I was so happy for you, Drew. And then, shortly thereafter, I was fired. He says, I was there for you, Drew. Where were you for me? You never called. Not one time did you call. Now, the key to all of this is, it's not like he's saying this and Drew is denying it. Like, dude, I called every day. Why are you lying to the people? No. Drew has a look on his face like, Heath is right. He got fired. I never called. I never checked in on him. I never went to visit him. Heath then says, on the bump, you said that you would be happy to give me a shot at the title. Well, here I am. I want my shot at the title. Now Drew doesn't want to give him a shot at the title. So Heath has to push him and slap him, and finally Drew says, okay, I'll give you your shot. Now, Heath Miller, the guy that plays the character of Heath Slater, he showed up, and he was so good on the mic. He was so good on the mic that when this was over, I wanted to see Heath Slater versus Drew McIntyre at Extreme Rules, and not Drew McIntyre against Dolph Ziggler. If it was my company and I was making more money than I'd ever made ever, I'd uh, rehired that guy on the spot. That's why I believe that it was a fantastic promo. I thought Heath Miller knocked it out of the park with that promo. He was so good. He was so sincere. His delivery was great. I see so many bad promos on this show that he totally stood out. Okay? That's why I think it was a great promo. Now, if you want to argue that, you can't call it a great promo if you make the top babyface look like a jerk, a terrible person, and a horrible friend, then fine. If that's the way that you want to classify the promo, then I'm fine with that. It was a bad promo. And I brought that up last night. I, I could not believe what was scripted for Heath Miller. But as a performer, his delivery, everything about that promo making me want to see a match, like everything about it was great. So I thought that it was a great promo. But you're welcome to think that it was bad because the point of a promo, the point of there are many points to a promo. One of them is to build up a match, but if you're doing a promo and it makes your top baby face look like a loser and a jerk and a geek, then yeah, if you want to classify that as a bad promo, you're totally welcome to. But I classify things in different ways. 
And I thought that, that Heath did a fantastic job last night.